I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. The prom will be at the Gaylord in Grapevine, Texas on May 19th. A uh, ticket is $100 and then there's an extra $3 charging fee on the Keller Web Store. And then um, to get a free one, you can come to Miss B's room and keep selling our fundraisers and all that stuff. Students can get a free ticket if um, they participate in our Picks for Prom Ticks fundraisers. All seniors can go to prom at Timber Creek and then if you have a guest who doesn't go to Timber Creek, they have to be under the age of 21 and get a permission slip signed by, uh, I think, Mr. Bartlett and then their, their, that school's principal. CX is basically a partner debate where we're given a resolution and we're trying to solve a problem in that certain resolution. And our resolution right now is the education system of the United States. And our plan is that we should end zero tolerance policies in the United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a more fast paced debate. And that's like the main difference between this and like other traditional forms of debate that people would think about, like seeing in the movies or things like that. And what event? I do LD debate. What does that stand for? So it stands for Lincoln Douglas debate. It's basically like. It reflects the debate styles of Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas back in the 1800s. So what does a typical round look like? So we have a time format that we strictly follow. It's like 6373463, and it's back and forth between the affirmative debater and the negative debater arguing about a resolution that's predetermined. Chew. Awesome. And what events? I do foreign extemporaneous speaking, and that's what I've qualified for for state. So what is extemporaneous speaking for those who um, don't know? It's when you have to keep up with current news affairs, and there's two divisions. There's foreign and domestic. I've qualified in foreign affairs, meaning that I have to keep watching the news and keep up with any um, foreign affairs that are currently happening in the world. And so there's two methods you can do. You can um, save news articles to your computer, or you can print them. And the Timber Creek Speech and Debate team, we use crates, and we print out all these news files. I feel so humbled and um, to, be, to represent it's such a wonderful school. There's so many excellent teachers that I admire so much. So to be chosen out of all of them, um, it's just amazing. I teach sheltered um, ESL classes in science. I have um, one IPC class, one biology class, one chemistry class, and one physics class. And they're made up of ESL students. So the idea is I teach them the science content, but it's in a smaller environment where I can focus on the vocabulary and um, allow them to, to grow in their English language development. There are so many levels of, of students. Um, there are those that literally cannot speak any English, and there are those that, um, that speak just fine. So there's the being able to differentiate their lessons. Um, of course, I've got the four different subjects, which are all very different, but um, the payoff is that um, I get to see them year after year. I see how they progress, and um, that's something that I never got to really see as a regular classroom teacher.